Jen, Ben, hi. Well, the Senate unanimously passed this bill yesterday. It would create a task force to study the impacts of potentially repealing the state's motor vehicle property tax. An added cost, state lawmakers say impacts millions of residents here in Connecticut. Whether you are a Democrat or Republican, whether you are in a small town, a large town, whether you live in an inner city or suburban community, everybody's impacted by this car tax. Connecticut is one of 31 states with a motor vehicle property tax. That means cars are subject to a local property tax, and that cost varies depending on where you live, as each municipality has its own motor vehicle mill rate. You pay $400 car tax, you can, but same vehicle, same mileage, same model, if you live in Hartford, register in the car, you're paying $500 or $600. Rahman introduced legislation to study a possible repeal of the car tax this session after his own experience when he moved to the U.S. 25 years ago. I work hard. I had a number of minimum wages jobs. I saved some money and I wanted to go buy the car. And when I went over there, I find out on top that every month I have to pay the again car tax. I Thing I paid $300 car tax. Rahman's bill would create a task force to study the impacts of repealing this tax, which Gaston says brings in millions of revenue for the state. It's a lot. It's a huge price tag. And so that's why we have to think very uh, meticulously about this. While a repeal means residents could save a lot, Gaston says that also means the state would need to replace that revenue. It's likely going to leave a dent in our overall municipal budget. And so we're going to have to find ways uh, that the state could look at creative solutions on giving our towns and municipalities more resources and monies. And this bill will now head to a vote in the House before it can go to the governor's desk. But lawmakers tell me with unanimous support in the Senate, they're confident this will pass in the House, too. Now, since this is just a study, not an actual repeal of the motor vehicle property tax, I asked if this bill is eventually approved, what the timeline for even eliminating the car tax might look like. Senator Gaston tells me it could be as soon as next year. Jen, Ben.